So hello and welcome back. So this is another example that I've taken from uh, the Khan Academy. And this is a very good example of how it of that basically shows you this kind of function, for example, n of t is equal to thousand times one half raised to the power t by t divided by five point five. So this is the kind of function that sometimes you need to write your functions in this form uh, based on your requirements and why that why basically how that happens we will find out in this example so basically after a special medicine is introduced into a petri dish full of bacteria the number of bacteria in the dish decreases rapidly so the number of bacteria is decreasing the relationship between the, the elapsed time t in seconds, so t is in seconds, and the number of bacteria n of t, so this is the number of bacteria n of t here, in the petri dish is modeled by the following function. So n of t is equal to 1000 times 1 half raised to the power t divided by 5.5. So this is the function. I complete the following sentence about the half life of about the half life of the bacteria culture. The number of bacteria is halved every so many seconds. So based on this function, you're supposed to know in every how many seconds, every how many seconds the number of bacteria is halved. So if you understand this function, so you know that basically here t is in seconds. So I write this again here, n of t is equal to is equal to thousand times one half raised to the power t divided by five point five. So if you from the function itself you you will see that it starts with a if your t is equal to zero if your t here is equal to zero then zero divided by 5.5 .5 becomes zero and then half div, half raised to the power one or half raised to the power zero is equal to one so this whole thing becomes one and so then your n of t so at t is equal to 0, n of t is equal to 1000. So that means when t is equal to 0, your output is 1000. That means this is the point where the graph of the function goes through the, the y-axis, or this is, or basically this is your a. Um, this is your a. And your R is your common ratio. Your R is your common ratio. And your, your common ratio is, in this case, has not been raised to, basically your common ratio has, tells you for every increment in your input, what happens to your output. Your output, for example, if you had a function like this, let's say this is T and this is F of T, f of t then your function goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 this is a completely different function i'm talking about so here let's say you start with a 3 and then you um, multiply by one third so you get uh, 1 you multiply by one third so you get a so you get one thirds and then you get one ninth here. So you can see that as I'm, as I'm increasing my input one unit by one unit, my output is decreasing. So here I'm, here I'm adding one unit to the input and my output is being multiplied by one thirds. Again, I'm adding one unit to the input and my output is being multiplied by again one thirds and so on and so forth and the same thing is happening here 
So this is a um, this is a this is an exponential function, and this is my common ratio, which is r basically in this equation. F of t is equal to a times r raised to the raised to the raised to the tth power. So that so my my ratio my common ratio basically tells me with each increment with with each time that i increment my t here the output of my function is being multiplied by what number so here basically it tells me that every time i'm i'm, incre I'm incrementing my input by one my output is being multiplied by one third, again by one third, again by one third. So this is the same story here. So the number of bacteria is halved every how many seconds? So it's being halved is means that the output of this function is being the output of generally basically. Um, let's. Now forget about this part for now. So the output of, of the function is being halved means that the function is being multiplied by one half, one half, one half over and over and over again. In how many seconds? So whenever you you're asked this question, you can simply go to your common ratio and see that if your common ratio is half, then one part is done because every time your t is increased by one and one and one more and more times half is being multiplied by the output of the function so if this function was basically in the form n of t is equal to thousand times one half raised to the power t then you would say that every second because t is in seconds so every second the the number of bacteria here is being halved or basically every second the number of bacteria is halved because every second with t is equal to one you have half raised to the power one so half is multiplied by the output of the function when t becomes two then it is half raised to the power two so then it becomes thousand times half times half when t becomes three then it becomes thousand times one half times one half times one half and so on and so forth so if this was the general form if this was the the equation of the function i would simply say that every second the number of the bacteria is being halved because the common ratio of the function is simply one half so then i would simply say i would simply say here the number of bacteria is halved every second every one second here but the problem here is that now here the common ratio of the function is half but half has been raised to the power t divided by 5.5 .5. so that means that in order for this whole ratio or this whole fraction to be one so that basically this has to become one so that basically one half is multiplied by the output of the function once and then after that it has to become two so that the one half is is multiplied by the output of the function twice and thrice and four times and five times and so on and so forth so what has to happen here in the in the in the in the index so that this becomes one basically t has to become 5.5 .5 so that then you have 5.5 divided by 5.5. So then 5.5 divided by 5.5 is equal to 1. And so then that is one cycle of t. So then the index becomes 1. And then after that one cycle, one factor of 1 half is multiplied by the output of the function. And you can see that here as well. So let me... If you didn't get my explanation, you could simply see it here. So if let's say n of let's say t is equal to zero. Let's say t at t in seconds and this is n of t. 
of this function, of this function right here. So if t is equal to 0, then this becomes 0 divided by 5.5 .5 and then the output becomes, uh, this whole thing becomes 0, then this raised to the 0th power becomes 1 and the output becomes 1000. If t is equal to 1, what happens is that half is raised to the half is raised to the 1 divided by 5.5 .5, and then that is multiplied by a thousand so this becomes basically a thousand times half raised to the power 1 divided by 5.5 .5. so this is still not half this is a very a smaller number than half because it's, it's it's being raised to one divided by 5.5 .5. this is basically the 5.5th root of half basically so this is still not half so if if i make it two i get um i get a thousand based on this function times one half raised to the power 2 divided by 5.5 .5. still not still you're not getting a 1 here it's 2 divided by 5.5 .5. it's not still 1 if i go 3 i get 1000 times 1 half raised to the power 3 divided by 3 coming from here as the input 3 divided by 5.5 .5. if i go 4 still not half i mean i'm sorry still not 1 here it has to become 1 so that this becomes 1 half raised to the power 1 so that then this half is multiplied by the output of the function. So this becomes 1000 times 1 half raised to the power 4 divided by 5.5. .5. And then if, you, if I go 5, it becomes the output becomes 1000 times 1 half raised to the power 5 divided by 5.5. .5. It's still a fraction of 1, not, 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 not complete 1. So still I'm not multiplying a complete half by the output of the function. But finally, if I go 5.5 .5 here, the output of the function becomes 1000 times 1 half raised to the power 5.5 over 5.5 .5, and this is nothing but this is nothing but a thousand times one half raised to the first power because 5.5 .5 divided by 5.5 .5 is one so now you're you're the now the the population is nothing but 500 because thousand multiplied by half is five five hundred so you can see that this happened after 5.5 seconds and again the same thing will happen after <coughs> after another after another 5.5 seconds the same thing will happen again this becomes this becomes 1000 times 1 half raised to the second power and again after 5.5 .5 seconds it becomes the output becomes 1000 times half raised to the third power so here my output is nothing but 500 here my out output is 250 here my output is 125 so you can see that every 5.5 .5 seconds Every 5.5 .5 seconds, the population of the bacteria, the number of bacteria, is being halved and halved and halved and halved. And that basically happens because, because the function, the index here, normally you're supposed to have only the, the variable here. But because the variable has been divided by this 5.5, .5, then every 5.5 .5 seconds the every 5.5 .5 seconds the, the, the n of t is becoming halved and that is also because the common ratio is also one half otherwise you would have to 
find some way I mean if the if the common ratio was not one one half and you wanted to answer the same question then you would have to find some way to somehow make some changes to this function and somehow turn this turn this this number whatever that 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 whatever it would be turn it somehow turn it into half so that then you could answer the question uh, right or properly so this is a very interesting and important uh, point here in 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 exponential functions and um, this helps you understand many things about uh, about exponential functions and then once you understand this you can um, you can write your own functions using multiples of the using multiples of the variable for, for example here you could make some changes to t you could make it t divided by 5.5 or t divided by 2 or t divided by 3 or 2t or 3t or 5t based on your own requirements so that's basically hmm, this point over here so thank you very much i'll see you in the next video thank you